Welcome. In this session, we'll explore the MCP architecture in detail. Let's start with the control plane. Right here, you see MCPX, our central gateway. It connects two MCP servers, one for time and another for Slack. Below, you'll find the tools each server exposes, like Slack's list channels and get users. When we open the MCP inspector, we can test the available tools exposed by each server. Let's run a test call using the get current time tool. As soon as we invoke it, the flow diagram updates to show the request path and tool invocation, confirming that a real-time call was made. Now, let's add a new MCP server. This process is straightforward. You can register new servers and associate them with client apps using a standard convention. Here, we are adding a Google Maps MCP server which brings tools like Get Distance Matrix, Get Elevation, and more. Once added, we refresh the MCP inspector. The client can now access all the tools provided by the new Google Maps MCP server. This verifies end-to-end -end connectivity and tool registration in the control plane. Now, let's take a look at tool groups, a concept we're introducing to bundle tools with role-based permissions. In this example, we grant access to all time tools, but only limited Slack tools, such as list channels. When we test the client with this tool group, we can confirm that it only sees the permitted tools. Here's MCP client number one, shown in red, with restricted permissions. On the other hand, client two, shown in our cloud desktop, has full access because it has a base permission of allow. This means that it can reach all tools registered through MCPX. This allows precise access control per client. Routing traffic to MCPX is easy. You just include two headers xLunar API key and xLunar consumer tag. That's it. The system automatically routes traffic through the correct MCP servers. Let's try a second agent that queries Google Maps. You'll see it has access and the flow diagram reflects calls to both Google Maps and Slacks. Permissions are clearly enforced. In the visibility tab, we get a detailed view of API activity, the call distribution per endpoint breakdown and metrics like latency and response time. It's observability built in for agent traffic. Many more metrics can be exposed to other monitoring tools such as Grafana or Datadog. Thank you.